So the first thing is that um, sometimes machines and automation can replace some of the workers. I wouldn't say all of them. And what this means is that goods and services can be produced faster, and this reduces costs, as I've said there. Fewer workers may be needed, and the average costs of production will fall. And this helps businesses to keep their prices down. Now, these this may well reduce costs, but sometimes if workers are no longer needed and they're made redundant, they have to be paid redundancy payments. So actually that can have implications on short-term cash flow. If you have to let a load of people go, you have to pay them redundancy if they're no longer needed. Of course, machines and automation can work more accurately than human workers, which improves the quality, reduces wastes, and cuts costs. Uh, machines, of course, can be programmed to produce a variety of products, so production is more flexible and more versatile. Machinery is never absent from work, they don't need holiday pay or sick pay, they can work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and of course they can do more dangerous and boring jobs that human workers may be reluctant or unable to do. And of course, new technology can lead to new products, creating demand. Think about tablet computers and mobile phones. The impacts of these um, facts are really important. Think about cutting costs, raising quality, raising productivity, increased output, health and safety is improved, and, you know, if a company develops new, t new products through this technology, this will increase their sales, as I just said, think tablets and mobile phones, and ultimately increase their market share and potentially profit. But there are some disadvantages to technology. As I said earlier, if workers are made redundant when new technology is introduced, this may result in redundancy payments, adding to the short-term costs of the business. New skills... Um, are needed sometimes. Skilled workers um, often command high salaries or big salaries, so it may be expensive to recruit new staff. And if existing staff have to be retrained, well, training costs may be high, uh, and that adds to the business's costs. Now, the obvious one to go for, of course, is that machines can break down, and this may disrupt production. It might mean that you can't meet a customer's order, you can't meet their demands. It may cost a lot of money to get problems fixed. You may need expert help. And, of course, all of this new technology can be very expensive to buy and finance. Okay, so how do businesses finance new technology, which takes us back to uh, the methods of finance topic? Don't forget also that customers don't always like technology. For example, automated telephone response systems. Lots of people don't like having to wait on hold through an automated system. And the final thing to say is that um, where issues, uh, sorry, where systems store data about people, so customers or employees, if data is stored on these electronic digital systems, there are security issues and data protection is an issue. Companies must follow data protection guidelines, which is not always easy, it's complicated, and it can mean expensive changes in the way they operate. So, key words to sum up this presentation. Quality, output, production, customer satisfaction, employee morale, redundancy payments, short-term cash flow, financing technology, expensive to buy, reliable, accurate, etc, etc. Good luck.